Hey guys, this is a special guitar. News, rumors, new models, Eastman Spectacular. Uh, we're in here today. You know what? Look at this. Wearing my Chief stuff. You know why? It's Chief's Day. I didn't know when I got scheduled on a Saturday that today was going to be a ball game tonight. So, you know what? I, did? I made a declaration that we're allowed to wear uh, Chief's jersey. So I'm wearing my, look at this. Got a Joe Montana jersey going on here. Yeah, back in the day. Uh, anyway, uh, Corey had his Chiefs gear on. He decided to change out of it. I don't know what that's all about. He's just like, I'm done with my Chiefs loyalty. That's sad. That's really sad, Corey. Anyway, um, we're doing some uh, some cool unboxing. I got a phone call. Well, actually, been in some on some meetings for the past six, eight months. There's some new changes, some new models getting ready to come out. There's actually even a whole bunch more that we can't talk about as of yet. But be looking for some amazing things coming out of Eastman uh, over the next year. Uh, there'll be some new models, some new things that uh, people are going to be pretty excited about. But I've been in some of these meetings, talking with some people, and there's been a few changes that are getting ready to happen. Uh, we'll talk about those right now. You all know that Eastman has a partnership with Bourgeois Guitars, and Dana in particular. They still... Dana uh, Bourgeois guitars are still made in Lewiston, Maine. We still carry those in here. They're fabulous guitars. They build guitars exactly the way they have for many years. Dana is a true master of guitar building. And I guarantee you he's not going to let his business change for anything, uh, no matter what. So he's doing that, still continuing that. But they wanted to start doing some partnerships and things that are going to be really interesting. And as part of that, they've had Dana as part of the conversations of how to grow Eastman as well as how to bring in some of the amazing things that Eastman does, which is distribution and things of that nature, to what De uh, Bourgeois Guitars do. One of the things that I know Dana is a big, big fan of is a neck joint. So there is a new thing that's getting ready to come out, and we got the first of the entire line of it. They're going to call it the True, let me see here, the t Tone Tight. And I think there's some paperwork in here. I've got a whole bunch of these guitars in here that we're going to talk about it throughout, de small details throughout all of it. But it's a Tone Tight uh, neck joint. It is a bolt-on or mortise and tenon style uh, neck joint, which is what we're going to have add on to these. So what I've got in here is an AC622CE. This is the 622, and this should have the new tone tight uh, neck joint on that. So let's see what we got here right now. I'm going to open this box box up for you right now and see what we got going on here so we're gonna make a mess here I just know we are so all right so the 622 as you all know that one is a maple neck and this one just came in I got a couple of these that have already been pre-ordered and held. The newer version of this obviously is gorgeous. They've been added the bevel and the arm, uh, beveled armrest as well as the tone port uh, hole on the side. So we do have that uh, that just came in. But this one's, let's see how this, oh, look at that. Tell me that's not gorgeous. Look at the flamed maple. And I also like the cross grain on this as well. Very deep and rich, look at that neck. Beautiful. So this one, this is what they showed me some pictures of. This will have Eastman's new Tone Tight. I got that steady enough for you there, Jay? All right. It talks about the partnership with Dana Bourgeois. This is actually a built-on neck system. And, ooh, look, you can almost see it because of this Tone Port. I'm going to hold it still. You get where you can line it up. You can see the two bolts that get in there. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. You could see it, good. All right, and then you can also see even that neck joint where the fretboard comes together. Did you see that up top? There's four bolts on the top of the guitar. There you go, where that block is. I can kind of see it up in there to the top of the guitar, and that is where it's going to bolt on to the actual uh, tongue up here so that when it unbolts, it still has bolt uh, for the, just the fretboard extension as well. So this is Dana's proprietary one. If you look at any bourgeois guitar, this is how they are built. So all of, here's the deal on this, all of the new 2022 models coming out uh, over the next year um, will have this tone tight neck joint in here. It's going to give you a, uh, some of the features that shows in here are 
Uh, let's see here. Efficient neck to body, tonal transfer, dual action truss rod adjustability, and easier setup and maintenance. So they can change that angle a little bit easier. That's the idea behind the bolt-ons. Now there's still some argument on dovetails versus bolt-ons. I'm gonna have to admit, me personally, I'm a dovetail joint fan. So I love the way a well done dovetail joint will marry the two pieces together. But I do have that one in, a 622. Um, we'll kind of go over these other ones real fast and see, because they're going to have that same uh, neck joint on them as well. And again, this is only going to be on the 2022s uh, that are coming out. And we just got a sneak peek because we're going to be doing some videos and stuff on these guitars. So let's see here. Here's a 722. And I believe it says a Dakota Fade. We'll do this one right here. If you haven't seen a 722, has a different sunburst, or that, that was a natural, has the Dakota Fade sunburst, rosewood back and sides. Um, again, so the sound port on the side. Um, oh, look at these. That's beautiful. That's a nice piece of Indian rosewood right there. Mahogany neck on this one, not the maple neck. Um, stunning guitar. And again, this one. It doesn't have the hang tag, but it's it's in here. Has the uh, tone tight neck joint as well. It is brand new, and yes, looking inside here, you can see that same neck joint on this guitar. So we'll spend a ton of time on that. Nothing new as far as the features of the overall guitar. Just the new neck joint. Now I'm going to ta uh, talk about some other rumors that are coming up because I do have some really cool. E40s that are brand new that will be, uh, we'll go over those as well as soon as I finish through this AC series and talk about some of the details on that because there's some conflicting reports on that. And I did have a phone call with the uh, head of uh, US production today and went over some of that just to make sure I was right in what I knew about these lines. Um, all right, this one is a, what is this guitar? A 522. Now I haven't had one of these in here and I do have a customer that is dying for one of these. Has had one or is wanting to get one in so we're going to do a tone demo of this particular guitar as well. This is the 522 mahogany sides and back also in a sunburst. No this is not. This is a 522. It, it does not have a sunburst. That is correct. It will be natural top on this. Again, mahogany back and sides. Does have that tone tight label on there. I gotta get used to that. They have the new true tone finish. Again, kind of inspired by Dana Bourgeois, as we expected. When they got tied together, Dana was gonna be kind of an influence on a lot of this. A lot of people have been talking about the uh, uh, the Alpine Spruce tops that came out on some of the thermo cures, and you guys know we're pretty big on thermo cures. It was kind of a, a project that we worked with Eastman on and, and helped them kind of uh, develop that one out and then they did the Alpine Spruce and that was again some of that pushing of Dana. Dana had talked to the folks at Eastman, have you ever tried Alpine Spruce? And they had not so they decided to order a big batch of it and they built those ones in so we had a limited run of those. Now this is one that I've never had in here before and again in the new 2022 variation this will be a 722 um, but in a natural top and normally it's in the Dakota Fade. Uh, I haven't had that one in here before. So this will be our first natural top 722. All right. Get this box out of the way here. Eight guitars, eight boxes. All right, so here is Again, with the new 2022 spec, tone tight, neck joint, a 722 in a natural finish. Still has that uh, blue purfling line, that really light turquoise. You have to really look for it, but you can see it once you know it's there. And it's a really cool add-on with that Dakota fade, but I think it actually looks really great with this, with the dark wood in here, and a little bit of red also purfling that goes along with it. Um, natural top, 722. Again, the new tone tight setup. All right, now we get into the traditional series. So there's been a couple changes that have happened. One of the new models that has been asked for for years. 
And I was told, you know what, we got enough stuff going on. We probably won't be introducing any new models. And then, of course, like Eastman always does, they did it. They went at it. So the new introduced model, which I've had a lot of people asking about, Thermocured E40s, traditional series, E-series. So we have this one right here. This is an E40OM TC. Now, what's cool about the guitars that we got in stock, there it is, my cable. Um, I was told by the folks over at Eastman, I know at least two of these guitars, and I don't know which ones are, were the actual guitars that they're using for the catalog for the new model. So I'll look. We'll probably end up seeing one or two that are just super gorgeous that might be a little bit above the others. That would probably explain why they'd use it for a catalog. But I do know that at least two of these guitars that I got in, by the way, on all these, the 422, let's see here. I got in two of the natural top 722s, got two 522s, two 622s, and one uh, in the Dakota Fade. So I got in this right here. This is an E40 OM TC in, and I actually got three of them. So three guitars that have the newer case. Now, now this one, this is interesting. So this one has a tone tight neck uh, a joint on it. And here's the deal on this, because I saw somebody else, another store got one of these in as well. The spec for a, uh, a E40 traditional uh, one is that it would only have the new, or the standard dovetail joints. All traditional series are going to stay with traditional dovetail joints. They did do a series, and I'll get into that more as we look at these other guitars. They did a few trying out a, uh, the uh, tone tight deal, but they decided what would be a better idea is to keep with a traditional, it's a traditional guitar, let's keep with a dovetail joint. This guitar is one of the ones that they tried out with the one. So if you're looking for one with Dana's uh, setup on it and that tone tight deal, this is one that you may want to look at or look for one of these that is out here. That said, I also think they may have changed the neck pro profile. This is the first one I've seen. This has almost a V-shaped neck to it. So this may be something that also may be new and exciting to kind of talk about. Um, but this definitely has a modified or modern V-shape neck to it. It is stunning, obviously. Look at that. Thermocured Adirondack top. Uh, all the ivory, or I, not ivory, all of the different pearl and uh, abalone, sorry, inlays all the way through it. A stunning guitar all the way around. I always love with the E40s, they do the herringbone on the back as well. So these are great guitars. Let's hear what it sounds like just for the heck of it. Stunning. So this is the first one everybody's been asking. Thermo cured uh, E40s, top of the line model for these guys. And we do have three of these in stock. Now again, I don't know how many of them will have this uh, tone tight neck joint. I'll have to go through the rest of them and find out. But I do know that whatever is available in that is not going to be the standard uh, and is not the norm for that. They will all go in. Now this one, I do know has a tone tight neck. This is a standard E40 that came in and they called me and asked me about this if we wanted this one. Um, this one is just a standard E40 with the new tone tight uh, neck adjustment or neck system on it. So let's open that one up real quick. All right, same case as before. Run out of space now. This will be in a natural, non-thermo cured type. And yes, I am right. It does have a tone type tag on it. Again, same V-shaped neck. So this must be something new that they're coming out with right now. Gorgeous top on this. Look at this bear claw right here. So this is gonna be a standard natural top, but on the inside you will see, and I'm gonna make sure. Yep, I see the two. This will have the bolt-on or tone tight uh, neck designed by Dana Bourgeois. So there's that natural. Now I've got this also uh, 
this is kind of a, another rare bird. I got in two dreads and one natural in an E40 as well. And we'll go through those two real quick. I'm gonna create some more space here. This is the E40 TC. All right. E40 D TC. This will be curious. We'll find out if this one also has the tone tie. Again, like I said, I did call and the actual spec for these will be a dovetail joint. So, let's see what this turns out to be. I got two of these in, um, which I ordered a whole bunch more, but oh, look at that top. Um, I don't see any hang tag here. Let's take a look. Nope, now this one's gonna be the dovetail. So this is going to be the actual spec for this. Again, has kind of a modified V shape to it. Um, maybe not as pronounced as the last one, but this is a thermo cure with a actual dovetail joint in it. So this will be the spec from now on. Again, if you're looking for that new uh, neck joint, you want to look, uh, grab the ones that are here because that won't be, there may be more trickle in. That's what I talked to them today. Now it looks like they also came up with another pickguard. Looks a lot like the Greven pickguards. Very beveled, a little bit thicker pickguards. Um, so that's something new as well. I haven't seen that before from Eastman. We did a bunch with pickguards with them. We used the uh, tortoloid by, uh, ones on various different guitars. Helped them with designing those guitars uh, as well. I love working with these guys. They get give me an opportunity to kind of work on some designs and ideas and things. and. So much fun being involved with a company uh, in, in the design of guitars and the Thermocure series. I just, I love those guitars. So, all right, let's see. And then this is the last one I got. And we'll talk about a couple other rumors and things that I've heard um, that I know a little bit about before we leave you guys on this here. So last guitar I've got is just a standard E40D. And this one should have a tone tight because that's what we ordered because it was available and again an anomaly this will be something that is not the norm we may see a few more of them but this is not what is supposed to be coming in so that said hey and they, I didn't notice this but that's a little different peghead uh, fountain there inlay than what had been done before interesting so um, again, a different pickguard altogether on this guitar. It is beveled, but a different pickguard altogether. Natural top, I'll have to go back and look at some of those others. And this one does have the true tone. Again, there's a hang tag hanging in here, or sorry, tone tight uh, hang tag. And in a all natural variation. Again, some really gorgeous, as you all know, they use their best select woods on the E40 series have the nice cases, they have everything, and that's kind of their top. So that's a quick overview of the new Est versions of older models. There's going to be some new stuff that'll be coming out later this year um, that'll be interesting as well. Um, we'll get into all that kind of details. I, some people are seeing some of that stuff that is landing in Europe uh, a little bit early, and then I think that's, design, that's due to Pepine. He's been uh, going through and finding some of this stuff. So anyway, a couple other things that have, people have been talking to me about. Thermo cures, why we're seeing them all over the place. There are thermo cures showing up on everything from the Eastman line all the way from the PCHs. Again, this is a Sitka Thermo Top PCH. Again, a $349 guitar, thermo cured tops. There's a reason behind this. I see them on here, I've seen them on the E1s, I've seen them on E2s, not E2s, but E3s. Um, various different guitars that wouldn't normally have them. There's been a shortage for a lot of companies to find Sitka Spruce, um, and even after they do it, they have to let it dry, it has to air dry, it has to do all kinds of things. There's a shortage of guitars all over the world, as well as with Eastman. Eastman now has an actual kiln that is one of the most state-of-the-art kilns that they bought to do their own thermo curing, and that was recently, not too long ago. It's easier for them 
to just go ahead and thermo cure these so they can build guitars, keep things flowing, because otherwise we'd be sitting at six, eight months of no guitars coming in, where they can thermo cure it and get that in and get them in here. And here's the best part, didn't charge any extra for that. So now they've got guitars coming in with extras. Uh, I've had some other questions on cases. Some of the cases aren't coming in exactly the way you expect them to. Um, and again, they're coming up with what cases they can do the shortages. You guys all know inventory shortages are stopping everybody. Parts are missing. So they've been coming up with upgraded cases and doing that in order to not have a stoppage of shipments of guitars. So you will see there's going to be some of these that don't come in the normal Eastman case. They're cases they're trying out. They're cases that they may use in the future. Who knows? But again, if you don't see it, it's better to see a guitar that isn't in the normal case that would normally be in and actually see them come in. But almost always, Eastman has been great about upgrading everything that they have done. From thermo cures to here. I mean, I've even got a thermo cure Eastman uh, E10M I was looking at today. This is normally a a uh, standard, but that is a thermo cured. You can look at it and see it. Uh, top that is in there. I've got some of the AC222s that have thermo cured tops. Um, again, what we see is what we get. Sometimes we'll see them come in. They're great. Um, and again, look at this. This is a whole row of thermo cured AC, uh, uh, AC, uh, what is these? PCH1 GACEs. All of these have thermo cured Sitka spruce tops. So, there you go. There's some of the rumors. There's some of the facts uh, as, as I know them, including a whole shipment of stuff that just came in. So brand new guitars from Eastman. I'm glad you guys were able to check this stuff out. We will be taking photos of all this stuff uh, Monday. Hopefully they'll trickle onto the website, trickle on to all your favorite uh, places to buy from the acoustic shop. You'll see all these. I told you kind of the numbers that we got in. There's still more next door that I haven't done. They're the the multitudes of those guitars, so be looking for that. Uh, I actually saw that there's an MDO over there as well, which is kind of interesting to see. So anyway, there you go. All the new new guitars, new models of old variations of old models, all that kind of stuff, all for you here. And uh, thank you all for being with me on a very special new, new guitar Thursday on Saturday. And go Chiefs.